right guys so <laughs> this is one sixth of the rice life yeah. mr mr john rice so how are you today i'm doing well doing better now got a little bit of rest yeah Other than that, doing great okay so he's going to talk about his home birth experience guys because we did like a labor and delivery video but i've got a lot of questions about home birth and I plan to talk about that, of course, from my perspective, but I figured that it would be good to get a man's insight on the whole process. So I guess I'm going to kind of do like a little interview type thing with you. Okay. So home birth, what made you comfortable with doing a home birth this time around? Um, the three other births we had um, pretty much kind of saw like the whole uh, variants of everything so I felt really comfortable I even told you multiple times that we probably actually didn't even need uh, a <laughs> midwife because I could probably go through the whole process myself yeah John was think. sorry to mean interrupt you but John was all about unassisted birth this time around with Ellie I was the one that was uncomfortable <laughs> uh, he was like we don't need a midwife we can do it ourselves and I just didn't want to chance anything so we decided to go the midwife route so um yeah but when we had Kylan he came really fast. Mm -hmm. And I remember you saying if we ever had another one, we would do it at home. home. <laughs> I'm setting up the, I'm setting it up. So <laughs> Kylan came really fast at the birth center y'all. And we were like 40 something minutes away. And when I got there, it was just really hectic. And so we like a more um, peaceful experience. So John was all for doing a home birth. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess what, what were the pros to you of home birth? What did you like about it? Um, well, the biggest one was, being at home, because, <laughs> um, you know, just being able to be at, in, in a comfortable environment and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Don't have any, I mean, even though like the birth center we were at, you know, that was kind of like a home feel, you know, mm -hmm. it was, you know, a lot less quiet, less, you know, busy and stuff like that. So it was really great. But um, just being able to, you know, be in the bedroom and they're like, all right, well, we're about to feel like we're about to get this thing going. And then, and then uh, doing the whole process at the house and stuff. I mean, ours was a little bit more hectic, um, hectic <laughs> just because of uh, didn't realize how much more prep we needed to do to uh, get it going. Mm -hmm. But uh, but um, definitely the after the after effects was great because basically as soon as you know you got cleaned up and we got the, uh, Ellie cleaned up and everything like that, we were able to get straight to the bed and, and really relax and snuggle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we snuggle with that turkey, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you like the just the the being comfortable at home. Yeah. Um. So you so we're gonna get back to I guess the home birth prep. You felt like it was very. You didn't realize how much went into it. Is in. Yeah. Well, like so basically, like with us, um, we did uh, a birthing tub. So didn't realize like the prep time for the tub, and then mm -hmm. the prep time of filling up the water, getting the water just right, not too hot, not too cold, and. The liner. <laughs> and the liner and all that jazz. So, yeah. um, but you know, all in all, we, we kind of got it handled pretty well. It's just, yeah. um, definitely just needed, uh, if you are going to do it at home, like I said, it's very easy just to be overly comfortable. Um, mm -hmm. so you still need to try to make sure you do some prep and make sure everything is 100% ready when the time comes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think with John, he I knew how much prep work went into it because I had the checklist. But the main thing was too, we thought we had more time, so I think that was a big factor yeah. because yeah, she came. We were thinking we had another week, two weeks. Yeah, she came on the day that we were going to go get all of our home birth supplies. Yep. I was going to get off of work that Friday, mm -hmm. and we we're going to go do all the home birth shopping. Yeah. And she came at twelve in the afternoon, so we didn't have a lot of time to do any prep work because she came a little well, earlier. Really, the only major prep we had I had to do was just to get a few last minute items and then the, yeah. and then the tub liner so yeah it's not like not like we had you know a whole list of stuff to do so mm -hmm. it wasn't too crazy because obviously yeah. we had all the stuff in time for the for the birth so yeah. it all worked out yeah so pro was doing it at home just being able to be comfortable in your own home um mm -hmm. What are some cons to home birth? Because, you know, everything's not absolutely perfect. What was a big con there for you? It wasn't really a con <laughs> for me. Um, I mean, because we didn't really have anything bad happen. I mean, mm -hmm. like I said, the only the only thing is just uh, making sure. Because, obviously, when you're at home, it's, you, it's all on you to make sure you have everything prepped and ready to go. For, like, if you go have a birth somewhere else, they have all that stuff already 
plan set up and ready for you and everything mm -hmm. when you're at home it's all on you to do it so yeah so like i said i don't really see a con outside of the uh, delusion that um you can take it a lot more easier than what i probably should have yeah you know, probably <laughs> a little bit a little bit stronger you know what i thought you were gonna say what the price <laughs> oh well i mean it's to be expected kind of you get yeah, what you I mean, pay for depending depending on um what you're doing and stuff like that um yeah because obviously we had to kind of pay it we had to pay it out of pocket and everything but um you know it's it's technically less than what it normally costs to give birth to a baby in a hospital it's just that your insurance covers yeah uh, covers it but you know yeah you that was it was a good trade-off for mm -hmm. the amount of uh relaxation that we was able to do and non, non frustration i guess you'd say yeah so overall, you feel like we had a really great home birth experience. Is there yeah. anything that you would have changed at all about it? Um, yeah, it'd be free. <laughs> but other than that, no. I mean, she was worth it, huh? Oh yeah, always. <laughs> all the kids are. So even though, <sighs> y'all, he's exhausted. <laughs> after, after they turn, after they turn three, and then they get that little that little personality, that rice personality, yeah. it gets a little bit more tiring. But other than that, they're great. <laughs> yeah so all right guys i guess leave below any and i'm going to make sure that john reads these comments so that he can actually respond um so if you have any uh, any questions about home birth from a dad's perspective then just leave them below um i feel like john let's see i feel like you did a really good job i feel like you're really supportive um i did have a few people on the birth vlog say why wasn't he in the tub and you don't okay, do <laughs> so, so the whole tub questions uh that's really more of i guess perf uh, Perf personal preference mm -hmm. there we go um i just for me <laughs> that's not really my cup of tea i mean i've seen because emerald was showing me videos like hey you see him he's in the tub hey you see this guy because i'm petty like tub. that bro <laughs> and i'm like yeah i seen him in that tub but uh we also see that stuff kind of floating around, touch on. Well, the funny thing is, is uh, afterwards, I, uh, I'm i sitting there holding Ellie with no shirt on, and she still has all that stuff, same stuff that was floating in the water on her anyway. But, yeah. but that situation is a little different because just the whole all the moment, caught the whole moment type of situation, not even thinking about it. Yeah. But during that time, like, I'm... <laughs> in a different mindset because you know i'm trying to support emerald and i'm you know especially with the as y'all saw i was doing 95 percent of all the camera work with it <laughs> um so it's a little bit different feel but yeah no i've always told emerald out the gate that um uh, you don't do I'm, I'm not getting in the tub um because there's other behind the scenes stuff that uh I have to work with the tub and stuff. It does not allow me to be in the tub. So. I poop in the tub yes. <laughs> every time. So, so. <laughs> that's another big key factor in me not wanting to chill out in there. Yeah. And um, so, yeah. So that's another <laughs> reason. But, you know, like yeah. I said, teach their own. Other guys get in the tub. No worries. No problem. But that's not really my cup of tea. Yeah. So a lot of people that ask about the tub guys. I have pooped in labor every time and yeah. I don't blame John at this point. I don't blame him for not wanting to get in because I know my body and I know I, I didn't, know I didn't do it. <laughs> I, I didn't mean, do, I actually did, didn't do it a ton better. with she Ellie. Yeah. She did better this time, but usually there's still, uh, there's still a few bombers out there. <laughs> yeah. Like usually it's a lot and I'm like, Ugh, like cause <laughs> we, we could go in the Kyla story for days, but Kylan's was a lot in the water and they had to refill the tub and it was just a lot. And so I remember it hitting my arm and me said, Oh my God like in the water and like freaking her out leg. Her, her leg kept going yeah. back like that she's like hot hot no i was talking hot. about the poop i was talking about the poop floating up <laughs> oh i thought you were talking about when they were having to refill the tub and everything yeah no but i was talking about the poop like being in the water and me oh, screaming yeah. so yeah, i don't want my to, own poop yeah, touching me to get the little uh screener and scraper and get as much out as we could and all that jazz so yeah so so that's but, why he's not in the water and there's ellie acting crazy yeah but overall the home birth was technically john's idea and he definitely wanted to do unassisted. And I was like, I'm not about the unassisted life. He actually, he is about the unassisted life, y'all. So, um. Well, I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it for someone, Start. someone's first child or someone that's unsure of the situation. Or high risk or that kind of thing. Exactly. 
I'm not insane or nothing like that. <laughs> so, like, if everyone was having issues, I wouldn't say, no, we're going to push through this thing or nothing like that. And then also, too, another benefit for us is we're literally about... Six, seven minutes. Six to, yeah, six to seven minutes from the hospital. So, even if we were doing one and something did happen, you know, we we're really close to a hospital. So, it's not like it's something that we couldn't get taken care of if something did come up. But... Um, you look so sleepy. Yeah, I have actually had a good bit of sleep today, but running dry for two days of sleep. So, y'all, I've got an amazing, hardworking husband. Uh, thank you. You're amazing. I love you. And yeah, we had a great home birth yeah. with our little El Bell, mm -hmm. and it was like magical. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was really, really great. Just, uh, I mean, we were kind of stressed going into it, but uh, it all it all worked out for the best. Uh, everything worked out exactly how I needed to to have us have a great experience during the birth. And Ellie's beautiful, and God is so good. Mm -hmm. All yeah. the time. Mm -hmm. All right, boo, you know the drill. Like and what? Subscribe and join us for the ride. <laughs> All right, bye, y'all.